Even though this is going to be a complete revolution based um, makeup video, there's going to be some bits that aren't going to be revolution. I'm going to use the Sleek Twist Up Eye Pencil in chocolate and I'm just going to use that to line my brows, not to fill it in or anything, just to line it literally. And can we just ignore that my eyebrows are trash and they're expired? So I'm using, um, where's, the, where's the bucket? <clears throat> So I went to Revolution the other day in Canterbury and you know, I was just being extra. I picked up their Duo Brow Definer and it's the shade Dark Brown. The packaging looks like this. And the actual thing is just like, like that. Um, it's like a dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills, one of them. And what I'm gonna do is just filling my eyebrows with like brow like strokes so going upwards and I like this pencil because it's not like it's not waxy and it's not greasy oh yeah this brow pencil comes with like a spoolie so it's just like a two-in-one it's just so convenient everyone and their mother has been using the revolution conceal and define um, concealer and I'm gonna take the shade C10 put some at the back of my hand and I'm gonna carve out the bottom of my brow using the detailer brush from Real Techniques. So I'm gonna take C12 and I haven't used this one before, I literally just got it. And I'm gonna use that to carve out the top of my brows. I wanna see if this is like my skin tone or as close as possible to my skin tone. But yeah, I'm gonna use that on the top of my brows. I'm gonna take this peachy shade right here. I'm gonna put that all over. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Well, not my lid, but all in my crease. So I'm gonna go back. I'm just using this palette today, I've realized, but I'm gonna go back into this palette and take, we're gonna take this shade right here, this like orangey shade, and we're just gonna put that just above where we put that peachy shade and create like an ombre. And then I'm gonna take this yellowy shade right here and put that just underneath my brow bone. I'm gonna take this shade right here on a angled crease brush and I'm gonna put that in my crease and use it to cut it, you feel me? So I'm just gonna literally push it where I can feel my socket and I'm just gonna go around in a circle and because I have hooded eyes, I have to literally raise my eyebrows and push it inwards. Like That's why I love this angled brush, I can literally push it in 
whereas if I was to use like a normal blending brush it wouldn't work for me it would not work so I'm packing on that color into my crease and then I'm gonna use the first shade and blend out the edges of that slightly like the pressure on this brush is like zero to none literally And what I'm going to do is to further define my crease, I'm going to go in with that darker purple shade right here with the same brush and I'm going to go right over that. That's what we're going to do. And with this second shade, I'm being a bit more neater because, just because. literally just because there's no other reason but I'm just being a bit more neater um it looks real cute and if you can see I'm making it literally I'm not winging it out I'm not winging any of my shadows out I'm literally going corner to corner of my eye corner oh you made me wing it out man <laughs> So I raise my brow, raise your brows guys, press, press, so what I'm doing now is taking that brush and nothing extra on it and I'm literally just fluffing that upwards, just a tiny bit, not too far up, but just to make it a little bit more blended. And guys, yeah, I really, really do recommend um, Revolution's eyeshadow palettes. Like, they are so, so good. Like, they're pigmented. They are such good dupes for Anastasia Beverly Hills, like the modern renaissance, the um, subculture palette. That's it. The subculture palette, like they are actually such good dupes. Like, so now what I'm gonna do is take my C10 concealer, put a little bit more at the back of my hand, and I'm gonna use that concealer to cut my crease and cut my crease. So what I'm doing is taking a angled brush and that dark purple and I'm just going to go into my crease again I'm going to take a old and dusty eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into this shade here which is just a light pinkish shade Then in the outer portion, I'm taking this shade here and I'm going to put that right there. So a good way to blend between colours is to like release the pressure. Well not pressure, yeah, release the pressure so like your hand is literally barely touching your skin and that helps to blend everything a lot more seamlessly. What I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do to give my eyes a bit more pizzazz, shabazz, I'm gonna take this barium glitter, fine glitter dust, I know it's barium plush, and it's in the shade seven, it's just the gold. Take some of the NYX glitter primer, and I'm just gonna put that on my lid like very sporadically and like randomly. Right, so I'm taking my Conceal and Define Concealer in C12 and I'm going to use that as my first concealer underneath my eyes and 
you know, in the generic places that we highlight. I'm going to take C10 I'm not the biggest fan of um, contouring with liquids but I really do like these concealers because they are matte and flawless and it's going to come to my nose So, to highlight, I am using the banana powder, and it literally looks exactly like the Ben Nye banana powder. And I love this so much with the concealer, like it just literally goes together so well. Gives me that flawless, flawless under eye. And I'm just gonna take my beauty, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and just pat my whole face. Guys, can I just say like, I am excited for the day that Revolution release foundations because it's going to be, it's going to be a crazy day because they're just literally just chopping all my money right now. So when they release foundations, what well, I'm just gonna go crazy in super drugs. So now I'm taking the Revolution Ultra Contour Palette, and I got this ages ago, I don't know if they still sell it, and it literally just, whoops, this shade. Actually, I'm going to mix these two shades and bronze up my skin. My nose, I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to take this purple first. Then I'm going to take that purple then I'm gonna go in with that peach and this shade and this shade Wait, hold on this shade here and that shade there and I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes as well So before I highlight, what I'm going to do is spray my face with the Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. The thing that everyone gets messed up about um, the Fix Plus Spray, they say it's a setting spray. It's not a setting spray, it's a fixing spray. And that literally means it just melts your makeup together. But some of people say I'm going to set my face with a setting spray. It's not a setting spray. Uh, if you're looking for a setting spray, revolution right cool to highlight I'm gonna take their strobe highlighter in gold addict and this is literally like how can I even explain it this is literally a rose gold highlighter like actually I'm gonna mix those two I'm taking the NYX lip liner in Toast. 
And yes, my lips are dry as hell. I'm leaving them dry as hell. Magdalene first. And then I'm going to take Biscuit. Nope, it's not Biscuit. It's called Fortune Cookie. Then as per, I'm going to go over with my luxurious nude lip gloss from Miss Sporty. And what's I need about to do? Go over once again with my hair shop lip gloss and it's literally 99p what more do you need can go on top of anything clear gloss just does something to look like this is drop lip central this gloss yeah life changer let me take something about this gloss yeah all the people that used to boys especially all the boys that used to say oh you got a drop lip you got a drop lip what's up now niggas y'all wanna be sucking on my bottom lip yeah but you are a top so shabbat 